coaches back to the question I asked a second ago. When talking about sparking the offense, were there similarities between what Skyler did? I, I, you, you write what the hell you want to write. What are you missing? Uh, well, probably just that you're not on the field coaching. That's uh, probably the only thing. What, what would it take for Skyler to win the job outright? Uh, continue to play well and improve his play. So you're the main point of this season. Well, I, you know, I think it's kind of like anything else in life, you know, you just keep, you know, whatever you say, rowing the boat or sawing wood or, you know, just keep on keeping on. And you just keep trying to get better and work diligently at doing so. And hopefully, indeed, that, uh, you know, that you improve, you know, if, if each individual, you know, you hear me say it all the time, you get tired of it. But, you know, if, uh, you know, if, if you got 11 guys on the field and if, you know, if each guy gets just a little bit better every single day, then collectively that's a, you know, that's a substantial amount. And if we can do that and do it co collectively throughout the course of the season, uh, then, then you are going to be better. You know, and that's what we strive to be is, uh, is better. You know, I think uh, you know, we got a little bit better in the second half, but one half doesn't make a ball game by any stretch of the imagination. So still, still a ways to go. There's no magic to it, at least not in my eyes. You know, I think it's, uh, you know, it's roll up your sleeves, it's hard work, it's correct the mistakes that you're making and make sure that you're doing the right things and uh, execute what you're, you know, what you're assigned to do. Coach, it seemed like Reggie Walker played one of his better games, if not his best game last week against Texas. What Everybody has, you know, basically the same types of things that's, you know, uh, you know, when they use it and how they use it uh, probably varies, you know, from, from team to team. I think Baylor, you know, has, you know, once again, it, it depends a great deal on personnel then, and, and they have very gifted, uh, two very gifted quarterbacks. Uh, one gets a little more notoriety than the other, but both of them are, both of them have talent, ability to run. They, they make you defend both uh, the quarterback in terms of the run and the pass, and then they've got you know a plethora of running backs that are all very very fine players, good quickness, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you know they they add to the balance in their in their offense. I think that's you know you can they get a lot of big numbers in the passing game, but it's the balance in their offense I think that really makes them most effectively in the passing game. Coach, maybe lost in the defeat was. Pretty good effort by your defense. Eh? I thought the thing in the second half that, uh, and, and Skyler was a part of it, but you know, the thing that happened in the second half, I saw, you know, coming out of the locker room, uh, and I think I mentioned this after the ball game, I thought there was a, uh, an immense determination, you know, from uh, the players in the program. I thought there was an anger uh, just at their own performance. and. Uh, the lack of success that they were having that I thought carried over into the, the second half of the ball game, I thought was very instrumental in, uh, in their approach and how they played in the second half. Or is it just we need to win just to get a win at this point? You, you know, it, it's, it's one game at a time as it always has been, you know, and, and your most important game is the one that you're playing this week. Um, and, and I'd say that that's, that's the mindset right now, um, you know, just, you know, prepare with you know, as much diligence as you can, you know, like I said, because the most important game is the one you're playing. Yeah. In the instance of on Saturday, it, it took having our backs against the wall to get it going. Mm -hmm. You know, that's something that we're really trying to emphasize this week is to be able to come out of the locker room before the start of the game with mm -hmm. that sense of urgency. Mm -hmm. What's the biggest difference between 